Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have my September book haul for you, so let's just get right into it. So this month, again, I kind of have a mix of books from different places. Some are from Chapters Indigo, some are from Amazon, and some are from Book Outlet. I'll tell you where they're all from as I go through them because they're not really in any kind of order, but let's just get to them. So the first books that I bought I'm actually really excited about because this was such like a like splurge buy for me because I really really thought about this before I bought it and that is the Court of Thorns and Roses box set. This is the first four books and the reason I had to really think about this is because if you can see right here on the shelf I already have Akatar and I just wanted them all to match and chapters had them on sale I think they're like 25% off and then I had 10% off with my like plum plus membership and then another 10% off the coupon so I got this like really cheap for what it was it was gonna cost me the same amount to buy these two books that I was missing so I just decided to get the whole set so that was the first thing I got and then with that I also got the paperback of the Her inheritance games came out by Jennifer Lynn Barnes this is something I've had my eye on for a long time. Book Outlet actually gets this in quite often, but the paperback was only $8 at Chapters, so I picked that up because it's not cheaper than that on Book Outlet for the hardcover, so I decided I would get this because I've been reading the synopsis like a couple times every once in a while, and it does sound really good, and I know the second one just came out, so I'm really excited to get to this one. Next, I am like so ridiculously excited for this book. If you saw my Instagram stories, you know about this, but I got Bad For You by Abby Glines, and this is, I think it's like number seven in the Seabreeze series or something. It's like towards the end of the series, I think, and it's a really good series if you've never read it. It's all about a bunch of... They're sort of like college age kids but I think most of the books take place in the summer because there's only one book I think where they even mention the character going to school but they're all like in their early 20s and they all hang out at the same sort of bar and that's how they're all connected and this one is about the this one's my favorite one in the series first of all this one is about the the lead singer of the band that plays at the bar all the time and he ends up this girl moves into his sort of apartment complex and she was raised like really sheltered like she was the daughter of she was the adopted daughter of like the pastor and his wife and they were like just like super mean to her and told her she was ugly all the time and whatever and because of that she sort of has like zero self-confidence and whatever and she's super quiet and shy and just sort of stays away from everyone and she's moved into this apartment now to be on her own and she's gotten a job and that's like all she wants to do is just sort of you know live her life and stay away from everyone and he keeps sort of coming over and being like oh like do you want to have pizza or whatever and he'll just like bring food over and they hang out all the time and this book is just so cute i love this couple um like i said this is my favorite one i don't know if this was like out of print for a while or what but i've literally been looking for this book since last year when i read it and it's been out of stock everywhere and chapters finally got it back in stock so i don't know if they're like printing it again or what's up with that but i was super super excited to finally find this one because like i said this one's my favorite out of the whole series it's super good but i highly recommend you read the whole series because it's also really good Next, actually I'm going to take these books out of here because then they'll all be together. So I got two more Abby Glines books. One is Lyrics of a Small Town. This is her new release. I haven't read this yet so I have no idea what it's about. And I didn't really read the synopsis when I bought it either because I just knew I would like it so I bought it. But I'm really excited to read this one. It's supposed to be sort of like Rosemary Beach which I really liked as well. And if you haven't read that one you should also read that one because it's another one of her really good series. And then I also got About Tomorrow, which I've already read and liked. This was on sale for like $8, so I just decided to pick it up to have it as part of my collection of Abby Glines books, which is obviously growing rapidly. And then the last books are, actually all of them except for this one, are from Book Outlet. This one is not. This is from, um, like, the thrift store. I went and looked through their stuff and I found this. This is a Pretty Little Liars book, obviously. This is Killer by Sarah Shepard. I'm only missing this one and one other book from the series, and so I've been like on the hunt for them to find them super cheap. So now I'm only missing one, which is exciting. And so yeah, I just watched the show of this like two years ago, so I'm like way behind on that, but really excited about this one. And then like I was saying, the rest of the books are from book outlets. Sorry, it just got like really dark in here. but. Uh, this is Nicholas Sparks True Believer and I got this one specifically because I think it had something to do with ghosts. Like this guy is coming down 
to investigate some like ghosts or something and I thought it sounded Halloweeny but like also a romance so that was why I picked this one because it sounded interesting and I'm all about the fall vibes right now if you have any romance recommendations that are like fall related or if there's literally even the smallest aspect of fall in the book like please let me know because I will absolutely read them but that was why I got this one and then next this is the reason I placed this book out lit order was they got the on honeymooners by Christina Lauren which I have already read and loved and really wanted a copy of and so that was how I justified placing this order but got that one next I got how the king of elf elfheim elfheim learned to hate stories by Holly Black and I did not know when I bought this that this is part of the like cool prince series so I'll have to read those first but I'm excited about this because Holly Black wrote, or I guess she co-wrote, The spider Wick Chronicles, and that was one of the few books as a kid that I did read and like, so I'm interested to like read her stuff as an adult now and see if I still like it, but that was why I got this one. And then I got Stay With Me by Jessica Consolo. Consolo. This is the second book. I can't remember what the first one's called off the top of my head. But it looks very similar to this one. It's a Wattpad book. And if you know me, I've been collecting Wattpad books because someday, someday, I'm going to film a video about Wattpad books. I just keep not doing it. But someday I'm going to do that, so that's why I keep picking these books up. And then I got How to Hang a Witch by Adriana Mather. This is obviously, again, because I'm all about the spooky vibes right now. I've had my eye on this one for a little while. Um, I think it's about a girl who moves back to... She's just moved to Salem. And I think she's like related to someone that was a witch and then I think something happens that oh yeah, she's confronted by a ghost. So right up like the spooky season alley for me so that was why I picked this one up. I'm really excited about that. Next I got Shipped by Angie Hawkman. I literally know nothing about this one. It just looked really cute and I've been really into like the rom-coms right now. And this says the Unhoneymooners meets the Hating Game, and if that's true, like, I should be obsessed with this book because I literally love both of those books. But, like I said, don't really know anything about this one, but picked it up because it looked like it would be something that I would like. And so yeah, I'm excited to get to that one. And then lastly, I got The Project by Courtney Summers. I was really excited about this one too because I've had this one on my Amazon wishlist for a while now. And this one, I believe, is about a cult. There's something about a cult in here. It's like a thriller, I think. And so again, like, really perfect for, like, the spooky season sort of vibes that I've been feeling for. Or, yeah, feeling into this fall. But I also really love this cover. And so I just, like, really needed this book. And, yeah, that's what I'm telling myself. But anyway, pretty sure there's a cult in this book, which sounds interesting. So yeah, that is all the books I bought in September. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you next time. Bye.